All right, Upper Deckers, we're at week one uh, for the fantasy week. Week. Uh, that's week. That was week. Let me take this off. Try again. I'm going to edit. I'm going to edit this. Welcome back, Upper Deckers. We're on week one of our fantasy league 2021. This is going to encompass April 1st, April Fool's Day, through April 11th. We have matchups this week. We have the ZZ9 Plural Z Alphas against the Assassins. We have the Bayou Badgers coming up against Thunder Road. Oh. And Peter just chimed in. Uh, oh, I can't, I, I can't, I have a thought and it's over. And just, let's see what Peter says. Peter says, uh, I think Kluber has value too. He has a couple of tough opponents this week though. Wait, why am I telling you this? I was going to cut that out, but now I'm leaving that in because that's comedy gold, Peter. Now, Peter does help a lot on these things. He doesn't know this is going on, so uh, I'll be a surprise. <laughs> I'm not going to edit this at all. I, the mistakes are better than than, than what I plan. I, I, I honestly, they're way better than what I plan. Um, in the third matchup, we have the Katie, Katie Isotopes against the South Lake Union Trolleys. Now, John Mitchell would argue... That he's the current champion. That 2020 does not count, does not matter. He's the champion from 2019. He went up against the first place team and handed that team their ass. I believe the final score was 10 to 2. Oh, that was my team. <laughs> he kicked my ass. Fuck you, John Mitchell. Fuck you. You know what you did. <laughs> okay. Uh, following that up, oh, uh, the original bad boy of ice <laughs> gets our newcomer, Scott. So we have uh, Kosher Italian Beef up against the OK Computers. I miss the Hebrew Nationals. I, I do. I mean, kosher Italian beef is cool, but I really do miss the, the Nationals, the Hebrew Nats. And in our final matchup, uh, uh, Joe is uh, the long Liverpool Long Turds is matching up with the Alvin Baseball Club, which is Andy's rebranded team because he moved. Now, uh, we haven't been very... Uh, uh, enforcing uh, the name thing. I think only Mike doesn't have a uh, a place. I think Bayou counts, Katie counts, kosher Italian beef, Italy, I guess. He gets away with it. Liverpool, Alvin. Okay is Oklahoma, South Lake Union. That's a place. Thunder Road. So maybe the Assassins and Thunder Road, but I don't, there's no big violations here. So uh, it's not out of control. So, uh, why did I even mention it? Because it's in the rule book, but it's not. Yeah. I think the rule book's pretty lenient on that as well. Anyways, guys, uh, people are on the waiver wires. I'm on the waiver wires. Peter's on the waiver wires. Um, if you're not looking ahead to week one and maybe even week two, then you're like, you're behind. Like, you're like pre draft behind. Um, get your shit together and. <laughs> And if you want to vote for an NA spot, get that shit done because um, it's not going to pass. And that's okay. It doesn't have to pass. I mean, John and Mike will be happy. That's fine. Let them have their moment. That's great. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, that's how democracy works is what I mean. I don't mean that. Well, let them have their moment. <laughs> we'll take care of them later. Um, no, that's not what I mean. I mean, hey, you know what? And I also like to congratulate all of you for getting in your p. 
picks for your contract C keepers. We do have one more that we'll name at the end of the year, and it could be a redundant kind of situation because you might be dropping them come next spring, but it's nice to have those players locked in so that you have choices. I don't want to keep you long. I did want to say, well, let's play baseball, and um, I hope you have fun. I really do. I hope this is a positive distraction and community bonding. I hope this provides added value in your weekly, daily life. Thanks. This has been Ruby. I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> I can't even find the right mouse. <laughs>